So there's this constant circular regeneration and inspiration going on that is to do with what life brings into me and then what I throw back out as my work into, into the big wide world. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a self-fulfilling kind of uh, system. And I think if, if, you're, if you create, if you have a, a, a healthy balance with your creativity, and not everybody does. Some people are incredibly unhappy with their creativity, frustrated. Some people, some composers can't write music. They have a, a sort of writer's block and they're desperate to communicate and can't do it. Uh, some people create work and they destroy it because they're constantly seeking um, unobtainable perfection. There are all sorts of different things, but if you, if you have a happy balance, uh, and, and you can create things and you can be inspired, then, yeah, the art is a, is, is a, is a fantastic central point for my life and I, and I think it's, it's done a lot for me. Tell me about the man behind the artist. In what way? What would you like to know? I like cooking. I like eating, I like sex, <laughs> I like walking, I like running, I like exercise, I like the sun. Um, I'm a very, uh, I suppose a very proactive person in that I enjoy life to the full and I'm, I could be, I could be a terrible hedonist because I like sensual pleasures. Um, and I could, I could become very involved in just having lots of sensual pleasures, which would not be very good for me because uh, I would probably just disappear completely. Um, but I think because I have a very sensual contact with the world, which is why I paint, which is why I, I love music, because they are all, they're all very sensual forms of art, sensual forms of communication. They're kind of well, paint is very tactile and plastic, and you can smell it, you can touch it, you can even taste it if you silly enough to put it in your mouth. Um, but you can mould it. But sound too is very physical and very sensuous and very lush, very abrasive. It, it, it's all these things. So you you can become almost addicted to sound and to visual things in the same way as you can to drugs and physical sensations. So I think my potential for being a hedonist has gone into the creative area rather than just me enjoying myself con con continually. Um, there are two very distinct and different sides to my personality, one of which is, is very, very gregarious. And uh, I like the idea of a party. Um, I like to talk to people. I'm quite happy being the centre of attention for a while, um, all those sorts of things. But equally, I'm exceedingly happy on my own. Um, I work most of the time on my own. When I'm composing, I'm not doing it with people around me. When I paint, it's usually on my own. I like to walk and explore the countryside on my own. I like to be on my own with my own thoughts. So. There are some people can think, oh, I'm just I'm just gregarious and uh, and I, I like the limelight and all that sort of thing, but that isn't the whole picture. There is another side of me that is very quiet and very very private and very calm, but people tend to only ever see the uh, the the louder side. I'm also hyperactive. Uh, I have difficulty quite often in sleeping. Um, I'm on the go an awful lot. And I produce, and can produce, a lot of work. There are those that might want to say, well, yeah, it's all a pile of shit. Well, that's fine. I mean, it, perhaps it is all a pile of shit. But 
um, for me, I just have an appetite for creativity and I am stimulated and inspired a great deal. And I'm, I am sufficiently at home now with what I do and the way I do it to be able to uh, create lots of different things. Ha <laughs> ha